Speaking of Dove, right? Um, you constantly hear God saying that, you know, he lacks power or he needs, you know, he needs this, he needs that. You've been in there in close concert with him, you trained him. What is his most underrated ability? Man, dad being an all around, knowing how to do it all, you know, but being a smart fighter, you do what's necessary at the moment, you know, and him being able to adapt. Like I say, that's the number one ability really to me that a fighter can have is knowing how to adapt uh, because you never know when you might have to fight or what, whether you might have to go on the attack sometime, whether you might have to get on the bike a little bit, one fight you might have to, you know, anything can happen in the fight, so... But to me, what I like about Dev is he can adjust. But um, you can't, you know, you can't force a guy. Uh, he got ability, but people want to force him to be a knock, a one punch knockout. I mean, his power is uh, it's above fair. But my thing is like, mostly a great fighter, not the biggest punchers like Floyd Mayweather. Uh, I could name a bunch. I ain't even got to name a whole lot. But I'm saying people gonna find something to say. So really, you just gotta block out the noise and. And, you know, uh, we're going to get back to what we do best um, and still entertain the crowd, but we're going to get back to what Devin, you know, the best Devin Haney. Speaking of being able to adapt and adjustments, right, give me a performance that you looked at and was like, damn, like, you know, that's his best performance as far as adapting. All right, I'm going to say that he adapted good on the, on the Lomachenko fight because – he went forward that fight a lot, and he yeah. went to the body. That was my plan. That was my thoughts to beat him. Like, you know, it's like, man, get to, to Lomachenko's body and back him up. Yo, uh, you know what surprised me, Mick? The first 10 seconds, he threw like a straight right left hook. Like, oh, he stepped, sure. yeah, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, okay. 100%. So he did what was necessary in that fight against a great fighter like Lomachenko. That's hard to do. Like Loma is, is hands down still one of the most talented fighters in boxing. Even one of my personal favorites when it comes to just all around skills. So him being able to adapt um, and just getting him back to that and being smart and fighting how you need to fight when it's necessary. You know, you can't listen. You know, you got you to gotta fight to win. That's number one. Like you don't want to you don't want to go too much and listen to too much of all. I mean, all right, that's like Muhammad Ali. He wasn't a big puncher, no. but he beat the biggest puncher in boxing, this George Foreman. Nice. Now, if he would have went in there and fought him like he was the bigger puncher, he wouldn't have won. He got him down the stretch. It's different ways to win fights in boxing. You know, it, it ain't going to always be a knockout, but sometime it might be a knockout. But it's different ways to knock a guy out than just landing one punch. You might wear him down. You might break him down. You might stop him on cuts. You might close his eye. You might humiliate him. I mean, we seen one of my favorite fighters of all time, Duran, quitting during the fight. Right. And no boss, he one of the toughest fighters in by. He wasn't even getting beat up. Top ten all the so, time. You know, it's it's you know, people gonna say what they say, but man, you know, Dad, you know, we just gonna stick to what we do best and and, and, and still entertain the crowd, but you know, we gonna do what's necessary to get the victories.